is a tit for tat retaliation uh, in response to similar penalties applied against EU products, including wine, dairy, cheer, uh, cheese, and other sort of liquids. Um, and it's the, the European Commission yesterday announced that it was applying 3.5 billion euro of tariffs against certain products, aviation products, around 15% tariffs, and certain agricultural products, including orange juice. But you're right, it's really a part of an overall long running dispute between the two sides that have been going on since 2004 under George Bush's presidency. And it relates to uh, illegal subsidies being applied by both sides uh, when it comes to the aviation industry. Now, the EU said yesterday that it was applying the tariffs because, of course, it was given permission to do so by the WTO just two weeks ago, but that it would be willing to remove them if the United States was willing to do likewise. Well, there is hope that there'll be greater cooperation on major issues and there's hope that maybe on trade there could be also. But actually, we don't know exactly what Joe Biden's position is when it comes to free trade. He's actually, when you speak to trade experts, they say that he's been quite ambivalent over it. But as you heard from the commission yesterday, they hope that they can resolve this long running dispute. But I got up with Anton Spizak, who's a trade expert with the Tony Blair Institute, and he explains that there is hope for greater cooperation on trade in the future under this new White House administration. There would definitely be willingness on the EU side uh, to look again at the TTIP texts and, and see if they can be revived. My expectation, however, is that you know, the world has changed in the last four years and um, they would probably begin the negotiations from scratch. It wouldn't be just going back to TTIP and what it looked like. It would be starting from a blank slate and trying to create something new. So that's Anton Spizak, who's a trade expert with the Tony Blair Institute, making the point that there could be you know, some enthusiasm, at least from an EU point of view, for reigniting the TTIP negotiations, which was the sort of failed EU-US negotiations that began under President Obama, but the final nail in the coffin was put into it under the Trump administration, who didn't want an EU-US free trade agreement. So there is hope that, in, depending on who Joe Biden appoints as Secretary for Trade and their position on on free trade that they that they could you know reunite on this on this basis but i think there's also an element of realism that has to exist here we know that free trade uh, is one of the reasons or you know american protectionism american first policy was one of the reasons why donald trump has been so heavily supported uh, by in voters and by some of the republicans in congress